Friends and family, we are gathered here today to rejoice and celebrate the ultimate act of commitment and the love that two people can exhibit, an expression that really cannot be of any apparel. John and Elizabeth have decided to commit themselves today to one another's heart, to share in all of the life's incredible moments, and to help assist each other in making each other's dreams realities. This marriage was created by friendship, respect, and love. Elizabeth and John bring with them the dreams which drew them together. They bring the fullness of their hearts to treasure and to be shared, and they bring with them the ability to view the world, themselves, and each other with a sense of humor and love. Welcome guests. Each of you that have been assembled here today have played or will play an important role in their lives and each hold a special place in their hearts and affections. So thank you all for coming. It is appropriate and meaningful that they call upon you on this occasion to take part of this celebrating event and it's a very important event in, in their lives. Elizabeth and John, today you are surrounded by all your friends. Take a look around, it's your friends and family. All of them, all of them gathered here today to witness your marriage and sh share the joy of this occasion. A day which will be one of the most memorable days of your lives. Elizabeth and John, rejoice in the knowledge that you have friends and family who have come to share this day with you. Be wise, therefore, call upon people who are closest to your heart and for support and love and to learn from their experiences to grow. The bride and the groom commit themselves today to each other 
in a sacred trust. They promise to embrace conflict as well in peace, to work and as well as to play together and to be with, stay with, and move forward together. So I just want to take time just to tell a little personal story about myself and John and Elizabeth. So my wife and I moved up here about, about five, five and a half years ago, and John was one of the first people we met. Uh, we met at work, and from day one, we started hanging out. We hung out every day. Uh, man, he used to be at my house, I mean, more than I was. <laughs> so, you know, he became family. At one point, we tried, we tried to adopt him so we could write off some taxes. It didn't work. <laughs> it did not work. But, like I said, he was always at our place, and for that, I appreciate you. You know, you saw a lot of stuff of what me and my wife experienced, and I hope it helped you grow as well. As well. So the first time I met uh, Elizabeth was a few years later, and, you know, it's Elizabeth. So, you know, you made a big impact in our lives. But the first time I noticed it changed in John was a trip to Schlitterbahn. So it was a family and friends. Some of us that are here today went with us, and, you know, we we're having a good time and everything, and you're, you're usually the last person to leave in the life of the party. But for some reason that day, you left, you were the first one to leave. And, you know, I asked, hey, what are you going to go do? He said, I have a real important thing to take care of. Elizabeth, that real important thing was you. <laughs> so from that day on, I always noticed John growing, growing more, and his commitment to you. He changed in so many ways, and it was all for the good. So there's nothing I could say except, Elizabeth, thank you for making John the man he is today and the father he will become. Uh, so Elizabeth and John have wrote, written their own vows. So at this point... Would like John to start it? My turn. Oh, yeah, it's your turn, sir. I love you. It means more to any prayer in any religion. You give me an opportunity to prove my faith. You give everyone here an opportunity to witness our faith come together. Granting that opportunity to me and everyone here is a special power. That special power is a reason, has so many reasons why I love you. Each day you've been in my life has given me a reason to love you, and I promise that I will show you how much every reason why I love you. Let's make this day last round. Okay, I might have to read off mine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I needed someone by my side and someone to love me. And then I met you when we had Mia, and I thought Mia was the angel God sent me. But through your patience and love, I realized God not only sent me one angel, but two. You have made me stronger and been the person so patient through having me grow as a person and le learning who I am. You have stayed by my side even though I pushed you so hard away. And not a second has passed by where I don't think I don't love you. You have made my heart so happy and seeing you as a father to Mia, just, I love you. And I want to never spend a day without you. And I promise to always remember that neither of us are perfect. But we'll always be perfect for each other. And I'll love all of you always, even if that means watching hockey every single night. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, always, I'll always want to be the one watching it with you. I love you, baby. Awesome. May I have the rings? Kilo. Thank you, Mr. Kilo. All right, guys. So your wedding ring is a symbol of your promise to one another. And just like the shape of the ring, it's circle and infinite and strong, just like your marriage will be. So if each one of y'all, you take her ring, she takes your ring. All right, so you're both going to repeat after me. All right. This ring is my promise. This ring is my promise. To love you selflessly. To love you selflessly. To see you for all your beauty. 
to see you for all your beauty. And to grow with you. And to grow with you. Throughout the seasons. Throughout the seasons. Of your life together. Of our lives together. Go ahead and put one ring on each other, each other's ring on each other. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. All right. So we have come together today and have heard the willingness of Elizabeth and John to be joined in marriage. They have come on their own free will and in our presence have declared their love and commitment for each other. They have given and received a ring as a symbol of their promise. So therefore, by the power vested in me and by the laws of the state of Texas, I take pride and pleasure as I declare you guys husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. All right. And well, I got one more thing. And may your marriage be modern enough to deal with the changing times and tradition enough to last a lifetime. Go and meet your life joyfully as husband and wife. And now let's get the party started. Let's do it, guys. Oh, 